Hi, in this presentation, I'm going to walk through for you using the Nutrition Terminology Reference Manual. The manual is currently only being published and supported online, so I'm going to walk you through the online version. However, if you have a past copy of the print manual, you'll find the same elements in the print manual. So what I want to do in this presentation is really just give you an overview of some of the resources in the manual and direct you to some places that you can read a little bit more detail uh, for a little more information on how to use the manual. We've already talked about what the nutrition care process is. And as a reminder, that, um, that process involves assessment, diagnosis, intervention, and monitoring and evaluation. So the, the uh, nutrition terminology manual will help you in each of those steps. So I'm going to switch to, so that you can see the uh, nutrition care manual online, or excuse me, the terminology reference manual online. And again, if you have the print version of the book, you can take out your book and find those um, same items in the book. So on the web page you see now, if you purchased um, a subscription to the online manual, this is what you'll see on your screen. Um, again, if you have the hard copy, just open your book to that section. So as a reminder, the different, um, the different components of the Nutrition Care Manual are listed on, here on the side, the assessment, diagnosis, intervention, and monitoring and evaluation. Um, and then if we click on, excuse me, I'm learning my new tools here. If we click on the ENCPT link, that gives you the basic um, areas that you will see in the manual. And then at, right here is the launch publication. And this is new for me as well. So walking through, uh, forgive me for um, a little bit fumbling through. Uh, this just came out recently, so I'm still working with getting familiar with where everything is as well. So when you click on launching the manual, this is the first screen you'll see. You'll notice that at the um, right in the middle of the screen, the nutrition care process portion, there's home, assessment, diagnosis, intervention, and uh, monitoring and evaluation. Each of those have a drop down option that that gives you a lot of information about what's in the reference manual. I'm going to highlight a couple of areas you can see where I'm kind of showing the drop down here. So when we start with um, assessment, for example, each of these main categories of assessment, diagnosis, um, intervention and monitoring and evaluation have different domains or main topic areas. So when we go under the assessment section, if you go to introduction, oops, excuse me, I clicked, I didn't mean to click, I just wanted the drop down for now. So when I hover over introduction, in the second option down is the nutrition assessment domains. I'm going to click on that now so that you can see these um, specific domains. So you see food and nutrition related history, biochemical data, Data, medical test procedures, anthropometric measurements, nutrition focused physical findings, and client history. So basically it's showing you that these are the different areas that we really look at it in nutrition assessment and that's something you've learned, um, those different areas of assessment. I'm not going to go into this in a lot of detail at this point, but you can see in the electronic version of this manual, if you click on this, it will give you more specifics. If you're in the paper copy of the manual, you'll see in the pages that follow the nutrition assessment um, section, each of those areas described in more detail as well. So I'm going to back out to where we started to that main page and you can see in diagnosis under introduction, then the drop down um, category that or the in the drop down menu, there is the categories of nutrition diagnosis terminology. So this is kind of similar to what we just looked at in the domains for nutrition assessment. It, they call it categories in the nutrition diagnosis area. So basically the nutrition diagnoses are broken into the intake, clinical, and behavioral or environmental areas or categories. And we will be working a lot with nutrition uh, diagnoses in more detail, but this gives you a broad idea of the different categories there. Again, going back to that home screen under the intervention section and then the introduction and then we have um, 
nutrition intervention terms. That's kind of the same um, concept as the categories in the diagnoses and the domains and the assessment. Sorry for the, the variety of terminology there, but I just kind of want to point you to the pages in each section that give you an overview of what's included there. So here you see food or nutrient delivery. If you scroll down a bit, you see nutrition education, then nutrition counseling, uh, coordination of nutrition care. So these are basically the different categories where a nutrition assessment might fall. Again, you can look at that in a little more detail. When I click back to the home screen just to kind of keep, um, keep us back to where you would start under the monitoring and evaluation, oops, pardon me again, I made a click when I just wanted to get the drop down, the introduction, and then the nutrition care, excuse me, nutri ah, doesn't like to do that, the nutrition care outcomes, okay, I will click on introduction because it didn't want to let me do that. Um, so nutrition care outcomes, this part of the box that's in the white color shows you the different areas that you're going to be looking for outcomes in. So basically this is how we kind of see did, did what we want to have happen actually happen. And those are the types of things that we might monitor. So we might monitor whether someone's food intake changed. We might monitor whether their anthropometric measurements changed. So did they lose weight? Did they gain weight? Did they lose muscle mass, gain muscle mass? Those types of things. We may monitor uh, biochemical data, so labs, maybe their cholesterol, their um, blood glucose, their hemoglobin A1C, those types of things or nutrition-focused physical findings. So those are kind of the general categories of um, the monitoring and evaluation types of things we would often look at when we're following patients. I'm going to hop back to the home screen again. So each of those areas of assessment, diagnosis, intervention, monitoring, and evaluation have these different categories. As you look through those sections, they will give you some additional information to help you think about what kinds of things you want to be addressing for patient care in those areas. We are going to spend more time in the diagnosis category um, and start learning to formulate nutrition diagnoses. So not medical diagnoses that a physician or nurse practitioner um, or someone with that that sort of background would do, but a nutrition diagnosis. So what is their nutrition issue that we are going to work on? What And then that leads into what's our intervention, what's our plan, and how are we going to monitor that and see if actually the outcomes that we had hoped for are being achieved. So when we go into the diagnosis section, there's this um, area of terms and definitions. You can see when I hover over that, that those are grouped into intake, clinical, behavioral, and environmental, and other, as I already mentioned, those categories. I am going to click on those terms and definitions um, to get into that. If I chose, for example, the intake section, I'm going to click on that, it gives you many nutrition diagnoses related to nutrition intake. So the next step that we'll cover in another presentation is doing developing what we call a PES statement or problem etiology signs and symptoms or what PES stands for. Essentially that's taking one of these nutrition diagnoses using those words to formulate the nutrition diagnosis to um, articulate the nutrition problem that patient has so that then we can move forward with, with an intervention. So we'll do another presentation with a little bit more detail on writing those PES statements and using these nutrition diagnoses terms. But what I would like you to take from this presentation is the basic overview of what's in this manual. And if you can take either your online subscription or your print copy and take some time just getting familiar with what's in there, understanding that it's grouped into these main areas of the nutrition care process of assessment, diagnosis, intervention, and monitoring and evaluation. So kind of look through what each of those areas mean and some of the general things that are available to you. And then we'll go into more detail and we'll use um, these concepts a lot throughout the class to um, get you more familiar with how to use these, particularly the nutrition diagnosis uh, terminology.